been a blustery and cold month of November so far, but we've had tons of championships to get to. So cozy on up to this month's rendition of the Stevenson Athletics Plays of the Month, featuring plays from the month of November. Yeah, Stevenson final regular season game at Lycoming. Dan Williams hooks up with Preston Addo for a bomb of a play, 80 yards to the house. Beautiful throw, beautiful catch. That man catching that ball, 12 of them in the end zone this year. 12 touchdown passes, catches, earned in first team all conference. That man throwing him those passes, Dan Williams, was named Offensive Player of the Year. He seriously threw that ball literally 40 yards, Ew. halfway there. Everything about that play was beautiful. It was wonderful. And another wonderful play from that same game, just under two minutes remaining in the game, it's going to be junior Mike Datu getting his second pick of the season to seal the win for the Mustangs, who go on to win the MAC championship, earn that NCAA berth for the first time in program history, and travel next following week, they would travel up to Wesley in that NCAA first round. Datu in that game, another two picks. Yeah, finished with four on the year, earned all conference honorable mention honors. I think we'll mention that a little later, too. Moving on, soccer, women's soccer. They advanced to postseason play, eighth time in the last nine years, their sixth appearance in the ECA tournament. What a goal there from freshman Alyssa Rasmussen. A beautiful left-footed shot after the ball bounces around in there, puts it in the perfect position, upper left 90, upper right 90. Her first career goal, finished with three points in the game. Mustangs defeated Chatham 5-0. Another championship to talk about. It's women's volleyball. Annika Schwartz getting huge blocks in this fifth set against Messiah's Falcons. These points down the stretch here in the fifth and deciding set would earn the championship for the Mustangs. She's excited. The crowd was excited. Let's check out this last kill. Huge swing, the crowd goes wild, and the celebration ensues. Mustangs are earning their fifth straight MAC Commonwealth Championship, sixth straight berth to the NCAA tournament, and you just hope those streaks just never end. I love that winning never gets old for them. You know, senior Kristen Brooks right here, this is her fourth, and the tears are coming. I mean, this is incredible. Like it, It's like they've just won it for the first time. Let's move on to the ice at Reichertown Sportsplex. Men's ice hockey team taking on Manhattanville in the ECAC West contest, and that is Mark Bowen, his first career goal. Look at this. Makes a move there. Makes a move there. That defender can't catch up. Backhander for the score, his first career goal. Beautiful moves, beautiful finish. Mustangs in their inaugural season, currently 5-5 five five on the year. Let's continue back to football field at that NCAA first round game. It's going to be Dan Williams hooking up with Devin Salisbury like we've never seen it before. Wide open out in the flats. Salisbury reins it in and is just going to be gone. He's shedding tacklers left and right. Let's check this one out again. Huge stiff arm here. You think he's going to be caught right around the 20 yard line, but nope. He's a strong man, and he's going to keep on running, bringing in six points for the Mustangs. Joe, it's November. That means basketball is tipped off. And this is Amani Sanders, women's basketball with the steal and the finish. I have no idea how she got that to go in. Right-handed, back to the basket. She can't see the basket. Doesn't matter. Ball goes in. What a finish. She finished with 10 points and five rebounds in this game. Mustangs defeated former CAC rival Marymount, 57-44. Court awareness. You don't need to see the basket, you just need to know where you are. Benjamin Young knows where he is. He's right under the basket, cleaning up the Tim McMeal shot, throwing it home with an impressive slam dunk. The bench loves it on the left side of that frame. Get yourself some points, young man. And, and this is a prime example of why coaches yell at their players to box out. No one boxes him out. Doesn't even know where he is. Biggest guy on the court. What a slam dunk. Let's get to some shout outs. Start with some cross country. Langston Gash, we gave him a shout out before, but he's getting another one. 
At the NCAA Mid-East Regional, the sophomore set a new school record in the AK with a time of 25-37 for a 22nd place finish. That finish earned him a spot on the NCAA Division III Mid-East All-Region team, becoming the first All-Region honor in program history. Gash and the Mustangs finished 15th overall. That's the highest finish in program history. That men's cross country team is young and it is good. And one of those good young runners is Patrick Watson. He earns all freshman team honors. You have to be in the top seven in the freshman in the region to earn that accolade. He finished in the region with a time of 26-36 to earn the spot, becoming the first Mustang in program history to do so. Someone we probably don't talk about enough is Annika Schwartz. This is her collecting her Mac Commonwealth Most Outstanding Player Award. She finished with 13 kills against Messiah in that conference championship game. Four of those came in the fifth set. But more impressive, she earned second team All-American honors given out by the AVCA. She's a first player in program history to earn first, second, or third team honors. After receiving honorable mention honors her first two seasons, since 2011 on that streak that they've been on, they've had 13 All-American honors. So congratulations to her and to the Mustangs. Let's talk about some women swimming. Dominating performance up at King's College. They win all 11 events en route to 128 to 55 dual meet victory. Head coach John Stoltrager was very pleased with the team, saying that they swam smart. Yeah, and if you want to know what that means, you should check out the John Stoltrager, John Stoltrager show. See, it's hard to say. It is. I called him Stan one time, and I can't live it down. It's all right. He'll explain to you what swimming smart means. Moving on, back to football. What a congratulations this is. After winning back-to-back -back bowl wins in 2014 and 2015, they take that next step, winning the conference with a 9-1 regular season record, 8-1 in the conference, and they advance to their first NCAA tournament. The team had 17 all-conference selections, Joe, 17, and they swept all three major award winners. Dan Williams, Offensive Player of the Year, kid named Austin, Tennessee. Not sure if you've heard of that guy, but he's a Defensive Player of the Year. And head coach Ed Hoddle, congratulations for Coach of the Year honors. So congratulations to all of them. And another congratulations to another MAC championship. The women's volleyball team, as we mentioned earlier, they earned their fifth straight MAC Commonwealth Championship victory, their sixth straight trip to the NCAA tournament. They had six players named all-conference, with juniors Deanna Bradbury and Annika Schwartz named to the first team. One for the thumb. One for the thumb. Moving on, let's talk some women's basketball. They opened the 2016-17 season on the road. It's hard to do, but when you're playing the 24th ranked team, it's even harder, but it doesn't matter. Mustangs down the Ducks, the Stevens Ducks, 56-51. Mustangs forced 20 turnovers in that game, scoring 20 points off of those turnovers. Someone else we don't talk enough about, senior Sarah Harbert. She led the way in that game, 21 points, 11 rebounds. Joe, five games this season so far. Sarah Harbert, five double doubles. All-American is off to an All-American start. Last weekend, they picked up two more impressive wins, one over FT Florham, the 2014 national champions, and a win the next day versus Marymount, who was receiving votes in the preseason poll. So congrats on the good start for the Mustangs. And that weekend with FPU Florham and Marymount uh, was a, a rewarding weekend for Stevenson Athletics. Not only does the women's basketball team sweep those two games, the men's basketball team also beats Penn State Burks. And Stevenson Athletics collects 246 pounds of food to benefit the Maryland Food Bank. Huge thank you to everybody who came and supported the, the Maryland Food Bank. And a huge shout out to the man with the idea, boss man, Greg Royce. Wonderful idea. Yeah, uh, I mean, you get free admission for donating some food. And some people might even say it's just easier to pay. But the amount of food that we had to carry bags into, into the van and big box of food, it was incredible and like you said three wins so it's a win-win for everyone there win-win win no pun intended oh that was a dude, that was on purpose <laughs> that is absolutely on purpose all right well that will do it for the month of november keep cozying on up to our highlight packages 
to follow all of our 27 varsity sports, visit us at GoMustangSports.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at GoMustangSports. Hashtag Stang Nation.